Hey guys, what's up? It's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am bringing you guys my current everyday dewy makeup routine. I have talked about this on my Instagram and I actually talked about it in a vlog that I just posted a couple days ago. I've been kind of telling you guys that I want to find a routine that is not so high maintenance okay i want to find something that i can do really quickly and something that makes me look a little bit more natural rather than like super sculpted i love that look okay that is my favorite look i love to cake on the makeup don't get me wrong but there's days that i just want to do something really quick and still look put together if you have been following me for a while you know that my routines involve like four different types of powders sometimes even more i love 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 powder so i've been trying to find something that just looks more youthful or glowy that it's easier to do like something like for everyday wear and another big issue that i always have with glowing makeup routines is that they accentuate the bejesus out of your texture like i have texture skin so there's certain highlights certain steps that i can't do because if i take those steps my skin looks so old and so textured and that is not the look that i'm going for okay it looks really pretty on other skin tones like i see some girls that can really pull it off but on me that look looks really bad that's why i don't really highlight anymore i keep more of a matte face but i miss it you know i do miss looking dewy looking healthy looking glowy looking natural so like I said, I think I'm at a place with my routine that I'm really happy with it and I have like a nice glow to the skin and this is with no powder, okay? The only powder that I use, which I'm telling you guys, you definitely want, you need to watch the video, but the only powder that I use was to set my under eyes a little bit and some bronzer. Sorry, they're calling me, <laughs> but that is it. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. I don't want the intro to be too long, which I'm sure it's already long. And that's it. So if you want to see how I have been getting my everyday glowy, dewy, healthy looking, juicy looking skin without emphasizing any texture, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so we are just going to go ahead and get started. It is 8 o'clock and I was... I don't know, I felt energized. I feel in a really good mood. I did my hair. I hadn't curled my hair in a long, long time. And I decided that I was going to film my glowy kind of routine that I've been doing. I briefly touched on this, but I'm gonna pick up my hair. I told you guys in my last vlog that I've been wanting to start doing more of like a natural phase something that doesn't require a ton of steps and that it doesn't require a ton of makeup tutorials, just something a little bit more condensed and something that I don't have to be like in front of my mirror for like an hour just to get like my makeup done. I've been playing with a little couple techniques here and there and I think I finally found one that I really like and that makes my skin look really good. So we're gonna do it today. So I am starting with absolutely nothing on my skin. I'm going to apply a little bit of eye cream. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Stress SOS Eye Cream. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with moisturizer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I love this moisturizer and I am just going to put some all over the face. By the way, you guys, this is my fourth week with my nails on. I started doing um, a prey, the Gel X, and this is my fourth week. I did them right before we um, went into lockdown. I think it was, it's gonna be a month already. I did them on the 13th of March, so almost a full month with my nails, and they're going strong. This one, this one, and the middle one on this hand, are feeling a little loose, but nothing too bad. Um, nothing that I'm gonna try my hardest to like hold on as much as I can. I'm actually considering ordering the kit off of Amazon and having my mom do them, because my mom, she's very techy with nails and hair and things like that. She's the one that dyes my hair, cuts my hair. Um, so maybe she can learn to do them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and prime. And I found that when I wanna do more of like a dewy natural face, 
Primer is key. In order to look really hydrated, a hydrating primer is key. So I have been loving the Tarte Double Duty Beauty. This is the base tape. It's called Hydrating Primer, this one right here. It is so good. It smells like coconuts. It smells delicious. It's incredible. I'm going to apply my primer using a brush. Seeing like, look how, how hydrated our skin looks. Okay, so next I'm gonna take some concealer. This is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Custard. And I am going to apply this under the eyes just to conceal some darkness. By the way, Lawrence is talking on the phone, so if you hear him, I apologize. He talks very loud. We're Cuban. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to take the Sephora Pro Angled Contour bl uh, Blush Brush in... in <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the Sephora uh, blush in. I keep saying blush. I'm taking the Sephora angled contour brush in the shade. I'm taking the Sephora pro angled contour brush in the number 75. <laughs> and I am just going to pack this concealer under the eyes. And I'm using very little concealer. Um, I used to use a lot of concealer and lately I've pulled back a little bit of the concealer and I actually really like the way that it makes my under eyes look. So less is more, I guess. <laughs> so next I'm going to go in with foundation and this is the NARS Natural Radiance Longwear Foundation and I am in the shape Poom Jab. Pretty much just like squirt it all over my face because remember this is a fast look okay this is not a long process i want this to be nice and quick so i'm gonna blend that out using the morphe e54 and i'm just blending that out over the skin look how glowy our skin looks i'm telling you i am I have been obsessed with this routine. I'm going to take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. And I'm just going to put a little bit like on the highest points. I should have done this before, but I forgot. And then I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and just kind of blend that in to the foundation. You should definitely do this beforehand. I just, I just forgot. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with some more concealer. So now I'm taking a lighter shade. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. And I'm going to put the tiniest bit under the eye. So one swipe, one swipe. And then I'm also gonna do the nose, a little bit on the chin, and here in the forehead. And again, I'm going to blend that out using a brush. And I also take that concealer and I work that in the lid to prime for eyeshadow. And I bring this concealer and I kind of move it down just a little bit and out. So bring it down and out. Now we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of cream contouring. I am using the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in warm almond and I kind of just paint it on the back of the brush like on the brush bristles and then I use this to warm up the skin like it just warms it up so nicely and I like to smile when I contour okay so sometimes I do tend to take my contour a little bit too high up so I like to go back in with that concealer brush and just blend that down to kind of make sure that everything kind of, see, kind of like blends together a little bit more seamless. To do the sides of the nose, just a little bit. I'm not doing a super precise nose contour. Again, this is fast. 
I am just pretty much just throwing on some shadow on the sides. And then I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and kind of just run this everywhere to make sure that everything is just nice and blended. I'm going to go in with cream blush. I have been loving the uh, cream. I have been loving cream blush lately. It's been my go-to. I've used it for the past couple of tutorials and almost every day I use some cream cream blush. This is from Revolution Pro. And this one is called Peaches. And I just like to smile and apply. Taking the Luxie 516 Dual Fiber Brush and I'm just going to blend that into the skin. So you like, oh, it's so pretty and it just looks so natural and so fresh. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some liquid highlight and this is the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops. And I'm going to take the tiniest bit, one pump on the back of my hand. And I'm going to apply this right here on the tops of the cheekbones. And kind of like by the temple area. And I'm just applying this with my finger just for like an extra little added glow effect. Now, I don't know if they make this product anymore, but you can totally use just any liquid highlighter that you own. That would be perfect. I don't, like I said, I'm trying to stay away from shimmer. I just want like glow, you know, and shimmer just does not look good on my skin type. It essentially is the texture. It just, it's not good. So this product is like a cream. So it's not shimmery. It's just like, see, like, I don't know if, you, if the camera picks it up. It's just glowy, you know, which is what I want. I don't want shimmer. I want a nice glow. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I'm gonna do my, my brows off camera because they take me forever to do, but I am just using the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade 4.5 and 3. So I use 4.5 in the outer tail and then I use 3 in the inner corner. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then I will be right back. I do like a super quick brow, they're not Super perfect, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer that's on our lid. And I'm gonna use a tiny bit of translucent powder just to set our lids into place. Very little, not a lot. And I'm just gonna set that into place. And I'm also going to set our eyebrows into place. So for the eyes, I kind of want like something very natural. So I'm taking a brown eyeliner and this one's from Pe uh, Pixie. This is called Matte Mulberry. It's the Endless Silky Eye Pen. And I am pretty much just going to run this on the upper lash line. And I'm going to take a pencil brush, something that has kind of like an angle like this one. And I'm going to go into any palette. I'm using the Iconic London palette. You can use this dark brown, this one, this one. I think I'm just going to take this one and this one, these two. And I'm going to smudge this like right on top of that liner that we applied to make it really nice and smoky. Okay, so I'm going to take a flat brush and that really dark brown that's in the palette. And I'm just going to tight line the top lash line. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom lash line. So I'm taking that dark brown and I'm just applying that in the waterline, like really tight in the waterline. I'm going to go back in with that angled brush that we used to smoke up the top with that same mixture. And I'm just going to re and I'm just going to blend out that dark brown just a little bit more and like make it nice and smoky. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shimmery shadow that's in the palette. This one right here, just any champagne 
shadow. And I'm actually going to put this in my inner corner of the eye. And I'm going to use that same shimmery shadow and I'm going to put some on the tip of the nose and right here in the cupid's bow. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go ahead and take a nude eye pencil. This one is from Ivy Beauty and I'm going to line my waterline. And now I'm going to take some bronzer. This is the Becca the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder in Golden Bronze. And I'm going to use this as my bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze up the skin just a little bit more because I want to be nice and bronzy. And this is such a soft powder that you can barely even see it on the skin. But it's so pretty and it sets so beautiful. And it feels kind of cold, which again is so refreshing. So I am just going to set pretty much the areas where we applied the cream contour. I'm going to take my Alamar Complexion Trio in light and I'm going to take this vanilla shade and I'm going to use this to set the under eyes only the under eyes though. I'm not applying this powder anywhere else, just right here under the eyes. Moving on to lips. I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in Nutmeg, and I'm going to line and fill in my lips. I'm going to go in with the Carity Liquid Lipstick in Sugary Sweet, and I'm going to put that in the center. And I'm going to top it off with the, uh, this is the NYX Cosmetics Gloss in Madeline. It's been my go-to recently. I love this gloss. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply some mascara. So I'm using my lash curler and I'm curling my little lashes. And since we're not applying falsies, you want to make sure that every single lash gets a coat of mascara. So take your time and really coat those babies. Okay, so one trick that I learned from actually watching Tia do her makeup is that she goes back in and any little beauty mark that she has, she actually emphasizes. So I'm taking my brow pencil and I have a beauty mark right here. And I'm going to take my brow pencil and I'm going to emphasize it. Like that. And I also have one right here. Okay, so the last step is to take some setting spray and just set your face. Okay guys, so this is it. This is the completed look. This is my glowy routine. Can you add more glow to it? Absolutely. You can go in with your favorite highlighter and add some more glow. I, like I've stated in the video, I don't really like powder highlighters because they accentuate my texture a lot so I tend to stick to more cream based products and I really like this routine we use minimal powder the only powder that we used was our bronzer and to set our under eyes and of course our eyeshadow but that is pretty much it I've been really liking this routine you can also dress it up by adding a strip of falsies but again I want this to be more natural so I skipped that for today's video but yeah guys, that is going to complete today's makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I will be seeing you in my next video. Mwah!